The Hillsong Saga is developing, it's ongoing, and uh, just today a bunch of documents were released leaked to the Christian Post that revealed that what we thought about Carl Lentz's immorality was just the tip of the iceberg. This whole thing is a gigantic empire of sin and wickedness and bad doctrine, and we're going to keep talking about it because I don't want to let this go. There's several things that I'm noticing as this is unfolding, and one of these things is that Carl Lentz is not going away. Carl Lentz is still kind of hiding in the shadows of left-wing evangelicalism and modernism. Uh, Priscilla Shire posted a picture the other day on her Instagram post and deleted it of her standing there taking a selfie with Carl Lentz. And this was like a month or two after uh, the whole deal with him being fired from Hillsong and whatever. Hillsong is the evil empire. I mean, they need to just play Darth Vader music every time they come out and sing because these people are evil. This is wickedness. This is sin. And for more information on that, go watch Third Adam. So, Carl Lentz, this is, this is Hillsong, so it can always get worse, and it usually does. Hey guys, your friend Spencer here. I want to go to Romans chapter 6. I want to show you something here. Uh, this is talking about being you know, servant to sin and all the things like that. You neither yield your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but under grace. And so there's a lot of things here about living the Christian life, yielding yourself to the Lord versus yielding yourself to sin and things like that. Uh, but I, I want to point my attention here to verse number 17 and it says here but god be thanked that you were the servants of sin but you have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine do you see that word right there doctrine which was delivered you and so when you cannot unless you have the right doctrine and when we speak about doctrine here we're talking about the beliefs and teaching of the bible and of course you know our brand here doctrine matters on the wall uh if if you don't have the right doctrine about who christ is then you're not going to be able to have victory over sin and victory over over your own wickedness and 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 i'm not preaching sinless perfection here, and I'm not saying that uh, saints are sinless, but I am saying here that there is victory in the Christian life over the world, the flesh, and the devil, but it is contingent upon you having correct doctrine and walking with God, but that doctrine, that doctrine is so important, and I would say this, if a man has bad doctrine, then he has bad morals, okay? Now, let me say that again, because this is, this is so important that you get this. If a man has bad doctrine, it will result in bad morals. Uh, a lot of people are saying that's the case with Greg Locke. That's the case with all these scandals of these TBN prosperity preachers. They're always in some sort of scandal. They're always in some sort of nefarious thing. Why is it? It's, they have bad morals because they have bad doctrine. Now, let me get to this article today. This is from the Christian Post, and apparently uh, there this, this came out a couple days ago, and uh, it's says, Carl Lentz allegedly caused mental illness in multiple staff. Volunteers open a, up opens up about affairs uh, report here. So this is what the article says. As he wooed celebrities like Justin Bieber to cultivate an image of success and help elevate the global Hillsong Church brand in the United States, Carl Lentz ruled the Hillsong New York City Church. He started in Manhattan in 2010 with a degree of manipulation so ruthless, multiple staff and volunteers allege that he caused them to suffer mental illness, according to depositions in a court or in a report obtained by the Christian Post. So he is he, he's destroying people as he's going off living his wicked life. Now, there was a book came out the uh, not too long ago. I've got a copy of it over there by Stacy Shiflett, and it's called Wolves Among Lambs. And in that book, he makes the case, and I had never really considered it. I thought it was a great, uh, great, I mean, point. If a man will waste money, he'll waste people. If a man will waste money, he will waste people. And people over there at Hillsong, I mean, they were they were taking all the, the givings and tithe money from that church, and they were going buying, you know, Louis Vuitton's shoes and, you know, $40,000 purses. And Carl Lentz was wearing, I mean, that guy who did the the article, um, I think it's an Instagram page called Preachers, Preachers and Sneakers, was talking about how these guys were wearing $3,500 shoes everywhere they went and whatever. And they were doing that with the church money. If a man will waste money like that, he will waste people. And I think that's a solid point that Brother Shiflett made, and I appreciate that. Um, it says here, in the title, uh, the report titled Internal Investigation Report Regarding Carl Lentz and Other Matters is a result of an internal investigation conducted on behalf of Hillsong Church by the New York City law firm 
Zuckerman, Gore, Brandis, and Crossman LLP. After Lentz's firing in November 2020 over leadership issues and moral failures, including being unfaithful to his wife. And uh, so, as part of the investigation, Zuckerman, Gore, Brand, and Crossman LLP made it to made it clear in his report that quote due to the limited amount of documentary evidence. And the extensive assertion of failure of memory by certain witnesses and the necessity to re- rely upon oral testimony and demeanor. The conclusion of this report, although they may be phrased in a factual style for readability, should be understood at, uh, as the contentions of a witness of statements of opinion uh, by investigating attorneys. So basically they're just saying there that uh, that this is a report that's not really totally true. And uh, so there, there's, but here's what the article says. They're, they're just saying this is what witnesses are saying are happening within this organization. The details in the 51-page report allege, among in many other things, uh, a mishandling of the spiritual care of a vulnerable parishioner with an eating disorder who eventually died and multiple incidents of consensual or non-consensual sexual interaction between church leaders and congregant staff members and non-church goers. It presents an unflattering view of Lentz as as a lying, massage-loving adulterer who presided over a congregation in which he did as he pleased in a hierarchy where he seemingly answered to no one. And guys, I'm going to tell you right now, this is a huge deal uh, that people are now having the courage to come forward and say this man was manipulative, this man was a was a train wreck, and, and we, you know, all that. All, I'm glad all that's coming out, and it needs to come out because Carl Lentz needs to go away forever. This man needs to disappear from the pages of history of ministry. Now he needs to go off and have a life. I think he needs to raise his family. I think he needs to, you know, fix his marriage and work on all that. Uh, but this man does not need to ever step behind a pulpit of wood and preach ever again. He needs to never stand up in a church leadership position ever again. This man is sick. He is spiritually warped. And uh, they even go here saying that uh, there's uh, there's a lot of uh, same stuff going on over there in Australia. And, uh, I mean, you know, and, and it, the whole thing's a disaster. And uh, let's see here. It, it, it was not uncommon for volunteers and staff who had frequent interaction with Carl Lynch to report that such interaction had caused them to suffer from mental illness. So basically they got stressed out all the time because Carl Lynch was so hard on people. And, uh, I mean, it, it really is bad. So the revelation of the details of the report comes after Hillsong Phoenix lead pastor Terry Christ revealed on March 27th that he had asked Hillsong Church global officials to make the results of the investigation public in the name of transparency and accountability last year. He also made it clear that uh, he had formally asked to separate from the megachurch network due to the government's dispute among the resignation of church, Hillsong Church Brian Houston last month over re- revelations that two women made serious complaints of mix- misconduct against him 10 years ago. And so there really is a lot of just wild things going on over there, mental abuse, uh, sexual abuse, and, uh, I mean, you know, it even says Carl Lentz talks sexual misdeeds and being a very good liar. Uh, this this whole thing is scathing. It it is uh, boy. There's a lot of things here that are going on, and um, you know this this stuff. I, I just want to say this: where where there's smoke, there's fire. And anytime you have a, a lot of this stuff happening, and even you know Carl Lentz is even admitting that this kind of stuff has happened in his personal life, um, there needs to be some sort of. First of all, for you as a Christian watching this, you need to separate from these people. Uh, you need to trash their music. You need to get away from all this stuff. And, and but also, you need to realize that uh, that this is is a result of bad doctrine. Bad doctrine results in bad morality. It always has, and that's I mean that's exactly what Romans chapter six here is teaching. I mean we we showed it right here on the screen uh, that you were the servants of sin, but you have obeyed uh, from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. So if you haven't obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine, uh, then you're still a servant of sin. If you have not obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine, the gospel, then you still are a servant of sin, which is exactly what these people are. These people are servants of sin, servants of flesh, and servants of Satan. That's exactly what they are. And I, th- I say, amen, thank God, get Hillsong out of the picture. These people are dangerous. They are preaching a false gospel from a false Bible, and they have a false form of worship. Do not get into this stuff. This stuff is bad music born out of bad doctrine, and the morals are bad because the doctrine's bad, and doctrine matters, and that's what we've been preaching here for quite some time. If you don't like that, my friend, then you've got the wrong channel. We're going to give you what the Bible says here. So that being said, 
Uh, listen, Carl Lentz is going to try to he's going to try to weasel his way back in. He's going to try to snake his way back in, playing the forgiveness card. Please forgive me. I was wrong. And he's going to try to tell his story. Don't believe it. This man, unless he unless he publicly repents of his sin and trusts Jesus Christ as his Savior, he needs to be marked as a false teacher and be done away with. That is for sure. Hey, guys, if this video was informative and helpful to you, hit the like button on this video. We appreciate that. Just smite your like button. We've got that right here. It's pretty cool. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. If you are new, we're going to give you a lot more Hillsong updates. We're gonna. This is not a dead horse that we're kicking here. We're, we're, this is a ongoing, legit problem, and I'm trying to close the wall off so Carl Lentz can't come back in the picture. Because it seems like he's trying to, and if you don't believe that, go check out Priscilla Shire's Instagram post. Oh, wait, yeah, she deleted that. Ooh, man, maybe we can make that available to you sometime. Anyway, we've got a new book coming out. Uh, actually, just came out on Amazon, Bible Topic Guidebook, and we want you guys to get that. God bless you guys, and we will see you very much. Link in the description below to get that book. God bless you. When I was 18 years old, I was under terrible conviction of my sin and I didn't understand what I needed to do. I really was lost and had no man to guide me. I went to the grocery store and a book caught my eye and it was called God's Promises for Your Every Need. This is the exact copy of that book, the one that I bought when I was 18. As I was going through the book, I discovered that it really didn't have a whole lot about the plan of salvation in there. And I told the Lord, I said, Lord, if you'll let me someday, I'd like to do a book, something like this, but better. And that being said, the Lord has allowed us to do a book just like that. And we are thrilled to introduce to you guys today the Doctrine Matters Bible Topic Guidebook. This book has over 300 pages of Bible verses categorized in all different relevant topics. What does the Bible say about addiction? What does it say about being afraid? What does it say about alcohol? What does it say about backsliding and baptism, the local church? Uh, what does it say about carnality and character? Uh, we cover topics like finances, money, persecution, preaching, profanity, sobriety, strife, vengeance, unbelief, your thoughts, your testimony, your walking with God, worship and witnessing and zeal. All of that is covered in this book. This book contains over 2,000 different verses on all these topics. And we encourage you guys to hit the link in the description below and buy one of these off of Amazon and consider buying one for a friend or a family member as a gift. And you could buy one for a person who's struggling because this book is designed to help people understand what the Bible has to say about all these great topics. We pray that the Lord would bless you as you get your copy of the Doctrine Matters Bible Topic Guidebook.